All right, welcome back everyone. It's so hot here. And in this video, we're back with another top five video. And this will be showing you guys the top five best legendary pistols in Borderlands 3. Obviously, just like the last video, uh, the last uh, top five we did with the shields, this is going to be, you know, my opinion based on what I think are the best five pistols in the game. Obviously, your opinions might vary by maybe what characters you use or just what weapons feel comfortable to you. But in my opinion, I picked out five pistols that I think are good on pretty much any character. And I'm going to get into those here in just a second. But before we get into that, I did want to mention really quickly that I was checking my analytics the other day. And I saw that 94% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you guys are coming around for multiple videos and stuff like that, I get uh, the mo my majority of my videos are guide videos. And people are just looking those up really quickly, you know, to find out the gun, uh, where the gun or weapon or whatever uh, shield drops from, which I'm perfectly fine with. But if you guys are sticking around for multiple videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And uh, turn on those notifications, that way you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. This is the place to be if you want Borderlands guides and uh, Borderlands content in general. But yeah, let's get into this top five. So coming in at number five is going to be the King and Queen's Call. Now the reason, both now you might think these are two separate weapons, but they're not. The King and Queen's Call are basically the same weapon. Uh, the crit ricochets three homing and returns three to the mag. Uh, so, and also you can get the king's call in fire and shock. You can get the queen's call in uh, corrosive radiation and cryo. And uh, this weapon drops from Tyrene the destroyer during the final mission, pretty much story mission in Borderlands 3, Divine Retribution. Uh, so, basically, what this weapon does is just like I said. Crits ricochet three homing and returns three to the mag. Also, it heals for 3% hit, 20% for homing. Now, the reason this weapon is coming in at number five on the list is because it can be good on every character, but I do, do feel like it excels on one character in particular. So, I said all of these weapons that I have in this list, I feel like can be good on any character, and that is still true, but this weapon does excel on Flak because of the fact that you can hit crits anywhere on the body and you're going to get those ricochet this weapon is very strong especially the ricochet shots they're homing they're going to home in on the target and they're going to deal that extra damage on top now if you're not using flak you will have to make sure you're aiming you know really good and you're hitting those crits that way you get the uh that way you get the weapon to proc the homing ricochet uh, that's when this weapon is strongest. You want to be hitting those crits with this weapon. That's why I put this weapon at 5. Because despite uh, despite the fact that it is really good, you do need to hit crits with it. And it is really a lot stronger on one particular character. Like I said, that being Flak. Flak being able, if you're using a Flak critical hit build, you, the, just the fact that you can just shoot this weapon... And literally just hit crits anywhere. You're gonna get those bullets refunded a lot. You're gonna be uh, sh shooting those uh, homing uh, shots all over the place on the ricochets because you're hitting crits just all the time. So it really excels on flak, but it's good on any character. You just have to make sure you hit your crits on the other characters. You don't really have to worry about that mu as much on flak, but with your other characters, you'll have to worry about hitting the crits more. That's why I'm putting it at number five. All right, so coming in at number four is going to be the Maggie. So the Maggie is a legendary Jacob's pistol. It drops from Turnkey Tim in the mission Guns of Reliance. You cannot get any elements on this weapon. And basically, it shoots six pellets per shot. Just that simple. That's what the pistol does. It's very basic, very basic legendary pistol here. But at the same time, a very effective one. This gun isn't that fancy, but it is very good. It, it fires very fast, but it's pretty much as fast as you can pull the trigger, it's going to fire. And uh, a while back, whenever they came out with Mayhem 2.0, this weapon did see a dip in like how much it was being used and how good it was. But it's kind of come back for the most part, in my opinion, and it's still, and it's a, still a really good pistol. Uh, obviously... 
it, you know, like I said, as fast as you can pull the trigger, pretty much. If you're spamming that uh, shot as much as you can, the reload's really fast. Uh, you're going to be getting shots down range, and they do really good damage. This is just all around a really good, simple pistol. Uh, and it's good on pretty much any character you want to use it on. It doesn't matter what character you use, the Maggie can be very, very effective. Personally, this is my favorite weapon from Borderlands 2. This is this was my favorite legendary in Borderlands 2. I love the Maggie in uh, BL2. I love trying to, you know, I try to use it in pretty much every build possible. I really like using it on Maya. And I'm glad they brought it back here in Borderlands 3. And uh, it, yeah, it, it's, I don't, I, I'm not going to say it's not, it's not as good as it was in Borderlands 2 at the moment. When the game first came out here for Borderlands 3, it was a really good weapon. It was one of, if not one of the strongest weapons in the game, if not the strongest. I think the Lauda still holds that very early on in the game. But this was one of the strongest weapons. It is a, It was a very good pistol very early on. And like I said, Mayhem 2.0 came out. It kind of dipped a little bit, but now it's kind of made a comeback in, for the most part, in my opinion. And it definitely deserves to be in this top five list. You can make it work in pretty much any build. Crack, uh, flat, critical hit build. You can use it on, as you can see here, Amara. I'm using it on Amara. You can use it on Moe's. You can use it on Zane. It doesn't matter. It's just an all-around really good pistol. All right, so coming in at number three is going to be a pistol exclusive to the Bounty of Blood DLC called the Beacon. This is a legendary Malawan pistol. The beacon, it drops from Jarek Logan, a crew challenge enemy in the Blood Sun Canyon. Uh, basically what this weapon does is on reload, it triggers a nova of whatever element you have active. You can get this weapon in any element, any two elements. Each time you get this weapon, you'll get a combination of two elements. You can get this thing in cryo, shock, fire, radiation, corrosive, whatever. And you'll get two of them each time that you can swap between. This weapon is really really good as you're going to see here in the gameplay very good weapon the nova deals really good damage as well whenever uh each time you reload it you're going to get that nova of whatever element you're using whether it be corrosive fire shock whatever element you are selected on and using at that time that's what the nova will be you can also get this thing in one times damage or two times just all around a very good weapon uh uh, from the Bounty of Blood DLC, the most recent DLC, DLC 3, uh, just an all-around really good Malawan pistol. Very sim, It's kind of like, it's pretty similar to the Hellshock uh, legendary Malawan pistol as well in like how it looks and how it fires and stuff like that. Having two elements, even though the Hellshock is locked into two elements, you cannot get different ones. This one, you can get it in any combination of elements you want. And this pistol just shreds. It does really, really good damage. It's going to do good damage on pretty much any character you use it on, whether it be Amara or Flak or Zane or Moe's. Uh, I do think it kind of it does a, a lot better job on Amara as well because she likes, she likes a, that elemental damage. But it's good on any character. It's not even like really that big of a difference. Uh, this weapon is good on literally any character you want to use it on. It's shred. I mean, you could see here in this gameplay, it's just it's destroying everything, just taking everything out. It is a really good pistol, and that, uh, one of the underrated ones that I don't see too many people talking about. It's a very very good pistol. You should definitely go out and pick this up, especially if you are a fan of the Hellshock. Which, speaking of the Hellshock, coming in at number two is the Hellshock. The Hellshock is a legendary Malawan pistol as well. It is found by and I, I, this name. I, I I struggled with this name last time. Ver, I don't know how to say it. We're just going to call him Vermilly. Like I said in the Hellshock guide video. Vermilly, uh, he is in the Homestead Part 2 quest located in the Splinterlands. Uh, basically, it's times two. It ricochet switches projectile element. So, basically... What this weapon, and also this weapon always comes in fire and shock damage. Uh, hence, it's being called the Hell Shock. So, uh, this weapon is really good. In my opinion, it is better than the one that is similar to the Beacon that we just went over. It is better than the Beacon. Now, downside uh, to this weapon is that it always comes in hell, uh, hell. It always comes in fire and shock damage. 
and uh, with the beacon you can get it in multiple different ele multiple different elements. But despite that, it's still, in my opinion, it's still better. This weapon is absolutely amazing. I remember it got buffed right before Mayhem 2.0 came out, and that's when it got really good. And ever since then, ever since right before Mayhem 2.0 came out and they buffed it, it's been good pretty much since then. This is a really, really good pistol. And I feel like th with this weapon and a couple more, it was kind of the start of Malawan starting to really get in a good place in Borderlands 3. I felt like at the beginning of Borderlands 3, whenever the game first came out, Malawan was one of the weakest, or if not the weakest, uh, like, manufacturer in Borderlands 3 when it came to, like, legendary weapons, in my opinion. A lot of them were weak. I mean, think about it. They had the lob and a bunch of other, you know, trash stuff at the time. And there's still, a, there still are a good bit of Malawan weapons that are not great. But I feel like Malawan is in a lot better place now. You know, you have the Recursion, you have the Hellshock, you have the Beacon, you have so many other, and like the Flipper, and the uh, and so many other great legendary weapons now that are in the Malawan class. I'm glad that Malawan did make a good comeback here in Borderlands 3, because like I said, near the beginning when the game first came out, I felt like Malawan was one of the weakest manufacturers. But... With weapons like the Hellshock, it is not that anymore. The Hellshock is a very good pistol, and I definitely think it deserves a number two spot on the list. But now, there is still one more weapon to go over, and it is, in my opinion, the best pistol right now in Borderlands 3. And that pistol is the Light Show. The Light Show is a pistol exclusive to the Bounty of Blood DLC. It comes in any element won't it drops from lasso doctal i think i'm saying that right it's a crew challenge enemy in the obsidian forest basically it deals times for damage uh forms a rotating circular pattern whenever it's firing and this weapon is absolutely amazing it is right now and it, for me it is my favorite weapon in the game pretty much at the moment it is my favorite weapon to use in my opinion it is the best pistol in the game at the moment and arguably probably one of the uh, if not the best weapon in the game at the moment it, this is what's weapons good on any character any character you want to use it on it's a great weapon the light show is just an amazing pistol it kind of reminds me of like a mini uh like a mini monarch just like how, how much damage it's dealing how many shots it's putting out kind of like the monarch now obviously the firing pattern is different but it kind of reminds me of that. And it, it's just a really, really good pistol. And in my opinion, one of, like, it, it might be the best weapon in the game at the moment. There are a, uh, there are a very select few of weapons that are, like, top tier in Borderlands 3 at the moment. We all know how the game is, uh, you know, right now in terms of legendaries. There's not really that many that are super usable in, like, everybody. Uh, but this is one of them. This is a really good pistol, and you should definitely go out and get it. If you have the Bounty of Blood DLC, you should definitely go out and get this pistol. Now, one thing I would like to say is that I'm sorry that two of these on this list is in a DLC. I tried to find as many as I could that were from the base game, uh, but, I mean, you cannot overlook the Beacon and especially the Light Show when it comes to if, if you're looking at like the five best pistols in Borderlands 3. So if you have the Bounty of Blood DLC and you're looking for a really good pistol and arguably one of the best weapons in the game right now, this is definitely one of them. The Light Show is an amazing pistol and I definitely think it deserves to be in the number one spot. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Um, like I said in the last video, feel free to drop your opinions down in the comment section. What do you think of my list? What would you change about my list? Are there any pistols that you enjoy using more? What's your favorite pistol in the game right now? And, you know, just feel free to leave all that down in the comment section. Also, one thing, I don't think I mentioned it in the last video. These videos and these uh, top fives are subject to change. Because Borderlands 3 is something that we've never really seen in any other borderlands game the meta is shifting a lot more in this game than previous games you know there's hot fixes coming out all the time that's uh that may shift the meta in the game 
in terms of like what weapons are good, what weapons are bad. Some weapons might get nerfed, some weapons might get buffed. So just keep that in mind. I might remake these top fives like every couple of months, you know, like look back at the old top five and make a new top five for, you know, like shields or whatever I cover. You know, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But like I, uh, like I said, this game is not like any other Borderlands game we've had. The meta shifts a lot more. So this list could change in the future. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.